What is going on, y'all? Check me out here, and we are in our car bag. Like, we have really been testing out a lot of vehicles lately, and this time, we're in New York checking out a prototype hydrogen iX5 from BMW. This is a vehicle powered off of hydrogen gas and oxygen from the air. A vibe, okay? But no, really, working with BMW has always been a dream partnership of mine and, and we're walking in that. Needless to say, I'm happy to be partnering with them and getting this early look at their hydrogen powered iX5. I was so curious though what this looks like, what it feels like. Surprisingly, it feels very much like an electric vehicle. It has the quick acceleration, the quiet ride, and it's still zero emission as it's not producing any pollutants into the air. For those that are wondering, this is how it works. The hydrogen is stored within the two tanks and how it ends up generating power is through a fuel cell that's within the car that converts the hydrogen into electricity. This is done through a chemical reaction with oxygen from the air. So this process generates electricity on board through the fuel cell instead of relying on a battery. I did have a few hours with it. It's still the same, you know, iX5 that we have known BMW to release is just this is the hydrogen powered version. So very familiar in short. I also like that the trunk was still spacious. The workings of things is just under the mat inside of the trunk. So it's out the way and it seems like it's not taking up any extra space so to speak. However, one thing that does make this different is that you can refuel a hydrogen vehicle within like three to four minutes. That's unheard of. Basically, BMW, they've sought out this market of production to help offer another type of electric powered options because one technology is not gonna be the one solved to enable climate neutral mobility worldwide. And I do love that there are no tailpipe emissions, but you can still see the water vapor from the exhaust pipe during like the colder days. And it looks just like gas would from a tailpipe. It's, it's really interesting. But I was amazed at, you know, how things felt so familiar, how quickly I got comfortable, especially with this being my first time driving a hydrogen powered vehicle and my first time driving in New York. Oh, this is nice. Like, I've been driving it around for a little bit. Excuse the audio, okay? But I've been driving it around for a little bit today and I have really enjoyed my experience. I didn't know what to expect, but it's just like driving an electric vehicle. But I'm glad I did it because I did get a chance to experience one of the few prototypes that are offered across the world of what we may consider the new ordinary for personal transportation. Are the early stages of the future, dare I say, as there are only a handful of refueling stations currently. But that is gonna change because they are building out the infrastructure and it's anticipated to be higher in number by 2030. And BMW also has plans to launch their first hydrogen powered production model in 2028. We're just getting ahead of the curve, but I'm excited about what I'm currently seeing, what's anticipated to come, and the experience overall that I've had so far. So, you know, big thank you to BMW and also to all of you out there for watching. But until the next one, y'all, as always, Thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. And also, let me get into the videos up here that are probably on screen. All right. <laughs>